about impact. It can be about exposure. It can be like, oh, well, that show is going to get filmed, which then allows me to have an Instagram video to then pitch my next show. Think creatively about money. Um, quickly on that, there's this great story. Two sisters were fighting over the last orange for a recipe. And, um, and the parent came in and said, oh, stop fighting. Just, I'll cut it in half. You take half. You take half. Go make your separate recipes. But had they communicated, they would have found out that one sister actually just needed the rind of the orange, and the other sister just needed the pulp of the orange. And so had they decided and talked about what value is defined to both of them, it would have been clear that it could have been a win-win. So be open about value. You know, it can be more of like a barter than just, just money. Um, number six, say yes to everything at first. You know, kind of like what we were talking about in the studio. Go in and have a lot of experiences so that you know what you like and what you don't like. You don't have any regret. See everything at a young age. Um, and for anything that feels like a reach, you know, or a dream, think creatively about what you can offer them. Predict their needs, you know? I thought when that person emailed me about bad habits, it was smart. That person was predicting my needs. You might need some marketing on your video. Sure, who doesn't, you know? Great. Predict their needs and you will be hired. Number seven, as a musician, develop your own sound. Split your time between effortless mastery and then also making like weird, unique, stuff that's a blend of your own passions and your favorite bands. Um, Alexia Reiner, who I made my first record with and who went here at the EPD program, she taught me this. She said, your favorite music should be your own. I was like, no, it shouldn't. She's like, yeah, your favorite music should be your own because you're basically combining all of your favorite artists into one person, which is you. And I was like, whoa, I've never thought of it that way. And Bad Habits definitely feels like the first time I've combined my passion for feminism, which is like the Spice Girls and Fela Kuti, and then like electronic um, music, you know, a little bit Toon Yardsy, a little bit Thievery Corporation um, into one sound. And she's right, Bad Habits is definitely my favorite. Number eight, <laughs> this sounds kind of rude, but I mean it in a loving way, which is check your baby ego. Like, y'all are babies, like, check your little baby ego, you know, because when you leave Berkeley, like, people care that you went to Berkeley, but they don't care if you feel entitled, you know, to certain things. Um, sometimes I watch young interns, and they feel like they're owed a lot. It's super, um, super whack, like, bye, you know, I'm cool off all that, like, bye, like, do some work, you know, prove it, prove that you're dope, prove that you're worth it. Um, I think that's really important. Um, I think people want to know beyond the skill set that you, you're going to put in hard work. Um, that's a band or a company. Number nine, read about what's happening in music tech and the music industry. Google it, whatever. But practice forming your own opinion. That was one of the best things that I learned from business school. Because we had to read about all these weird industries like copper and like airlines and whatever. And we were forced to form our own opinion even though we knew nothing. It was kind of annoying because the men are really good at like acting like they had 